Hello guys and welcome back to the crazy Minecraft video where today the villagers have gone ahead and invited us for a wonderful challenge where it seems like they want us to go ahead and morph into different monsters today which I think is going to be awesome so let's go and speak to them and let's go and see how we can help Hello Naveed, for our challenge today you will morph into various stages of mobs you will start off as a weak monster then slowly grow to be one of the strongest mobs get morphing Wait! Are you going to tell me that we have challenges to do? Oh, so no wonder they've gone ahead and given us loads of different chests. Each with different items that we have to either go ahead and destroy or figure out how to build them. Well, I'm totally accepting. Let's go ahead and do this. But guys, before we morph into the first monster, don't forget that the majority of you aren't subscribed yet. So go down below and press the red subscribe button along with the notifications bell. And that way you'll never miss another video ever again. Well, villager, I'm totally ready. Morph us into the first monster, which I'm guessing is a cactus golem. Let's go and have a quick look. Whoa, it's worked. We've morphed into an awesome golem. And I have a feeling walking around is going to be so strange. This is one of the coolest things ever. Villager, I'm totally ready to start our first challenge, which I'm guessing is just super simple. They want us to go ahead, morph every single one of these golem heads and figure out how they work. So I'm hoping they should be exactly the same size as us and afterwards we can spawn our mutant iron golem. Let me start building them so we can keep this village very safe. And I'm kind of hoping they will help us in the next few challenges. So let me start with our magma one and awesome and let's put on our golem head which for this we are literally almost the same height. Let's go and do the first one and perfect! Here we go! Oh wait! I forgot, because with the cactus one, if we stand close to him, it will kind of spike him. So we've got to be really careful. If not, it could be really bad for him. Okay, let's make sure this doesn't work. Does it work on the villagers too? Let's see. Whoop! Sorry, villager! I didn't mean for that to happen. Okay, let me keep on going and let's stay away from every single monster. This challenge is slightly harder than I thought. Let me go ahead and do the emerald one. And perfect. And let's also go ahead and put the golem head there. Cool! <laughs> and we instantly hurt it a little bit. Sorry, Golem! I am so glad they don't take it too seriously because if not, they would all be trying to kill us right now. Okay, let's keep on going and let me quickly do the Lapis Lazuli one. And perfect, and let's go and see what this one looks like. And I'm hoping every single one of these golems can later help us fight off the dangerous monsters. This first challenge is all about building some sort of safe guardians. So let me do this one, and perfect, and I'm pretty sure the glowstone one will go ahead and work at night time. So whenever it gets dark, he will light up the whole village. And let's also just try out the last few right by the villager. I'm going to do the diamond one right in the center. And perfect, let's put our golem head right on top. And cool, <laughs> he looks so awesome. He is definitely going to be one of my favorites today. And let's also go ahead and do the hay one, which I'm going to do right next door to our villager. And perfect, let's put on our golem head. And awesome, there he goes. Instantly trying to go ahead and protect the villager. Let's also do the final two, which is going to be the melon. And then the packed ice, which I'm going to do right next door. Perfect, and good. And there we go. So let's do the first one and the second one. <laughs> See, these guys look awesome. I actually really like the packed ice one, but it's turning all the water into ice. Maybe the mutant golem can go ahead and help us here. Let me spawn it and perfect. Whoa, there he goes. He's got a giant furnace as his main core and he's a mutant golem that I've never even seen before. But he's some reason trying to force his way through, which I don't think is going to work. That villager is not going to move. Well, we've gone ahead and done it. I don't think there's anything left for us to go ahead and do. So let's morph into the next monster, which is Frostmoor. Whoa, it's definitely worked. And we've turned into a giant Frostmoor. This is one of the coolest things ever. But I'm kind of scared that we are constantly moving. Maybe it has something to do with the ice that's on our feet. Well, we have no time to waste. So let's go ahead, try and figure out how to make our way around before we go ahead and scare ourselves with our ultimate roar. And let's take out all our items. Perfect. So we've got loads of chemical X's that we need to go ahead and take out, as well as a few items, some armors, and loads of different spawners. Let's go ahead and take out these spawners. Whoops. Sorry, villager. Hopefully it doesn't kill him or turn him into an evil mutant. Let's go see if it's going to work. No. <laughs> okay. That's what happens when you go ahead and use the chemical X. If it doesn't turn him into a mutant, it will go ahead and destroy him. So let me do the mutant creeper. And perfect. Let's go and spawn a chemical X and let's go and see what happens. 
He's instantly angry. <laughs> let's see if this works. I'm kind of scared. Nope, completely failed. Okay, let's spawn another one. Let's spawn our chemical eggs. And perfect. Let's back off as fast as we can before he gets really angry and blows up. And there we go. We've got our mutant creeper. Which for this, I'm going to put on all of our mythal armor as well as taking out our sword. And let's not forget about our creeper shard. Perfect. Did it work? <laughs> okay, fighting off this mob is actually going to be a little bit more challenging than I could have ever expected. But let's just go ahead and do this. Now, he is somehow getting his ultimate attack on us but let's not give up now perfect now okay let's keep on going he's slowly by slowly trying to make his way down to the center of the world which we can't let happen let's go and try and finish him no this is going to be really challenging i should have gone ahead and spawned him right in the center of the village where all the golems could have helped us out now this is going to be ever so challenging we must almost be done i'm sure of it but for some reason it is taking an almost eternity Ah, he's going to be one of the hardest monsters ever. Let's not give up now. Perfect. I think we've done it. Here he goes. He's going to blow. <laughs> ah, that was insane. And we can even collect his morph and hopefully use it later. Do you know what? I'm going to test it out right now because I'm actually really desperate to figuring out how Frost Maw can be so big and really hard at hitting monsters. So I'm hoping the smaller we are, the easier this should become. So let me actually go ahead and spawn the next one, which we have to do, which is let's do the mutant skeleton and hopefully this should complete this challenge let's go ahead spawn it right around the center and let's go and see if this works perfect whoop and where did it go um okay let's try it again oh there we go it worked <laughs> we didn't even have to use our chemical eggs and thankfully the golems are instantly trying to help us out get him mutant iron golem whoa that was one of the quickest attacks ever let's spawn quite a few of them and let's go and see if this actually works cool <laughs> This is one of the quickest battles I've ever seen. But I can see that these mutants are getting super angry. No, they've killed us. Okay, there goes the last few. And perfect. And we're literally down to our last two golems. There we go. Final one. Is it going to work? Whoop. Hit him up. Come on. Yes. Okay, is this is going to work. I'm a little bit scared that maybe these mutants need our help. <laughs> And we've done it. That was one of the quickest battles ever. Um, do you know what? I'm going to leave this next one out. Let's head back to our wonderful villager and let's morph into the next one, which is a mutant snow golem. Villager, I'm now ready for the next challenge. Let me throw in all these items and let's go ahead and do this. I didn't even get a chance to use our enderman hand, which I'm actually going to go ahead and keep. Hopefully this should help us out. And perfect. Villager, I'm now ready. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's go and have a quick look. <laughs> Perfect. I'm so glad this has worked. It's such a shame, though, that we don't have any sort of snowballs on us. This would have been the coolest thing ever. But I'm totally ready to figure out what's inside our diamond chest. So let's open it up. And let's take out our frost sword, which goes along perfectly with our ice. And let's spawn Baraka the Sun Chief, Frostmoor, and then the Naga. Let me spawn these right in the center. Golems, are you all ready to fight? I'm kind of hoping maybe we could take out these items. And let's go and save our golems. Come on, this has to work. Um, or maybe we can destroy them. Let's go and see if we can actually get our golem down. I'm kind of scared he might stuck, be stuck up there forever. Come on, golem. You need to get down from there. If not, you will be stuck for the rest of your life. Ah, oh, this is going to be ever so challenging. But I'm kind of hoping this should work. Okay, that should be enough. Let's go ahead and spawn... Um, let's do Baraka the Sun Chief right in the center. Cool. <laughs> get him, golems. Get him. And we've even got a little baby magma. Whoa. That was insane! And he's burning everyone up! Wait, have we destroyed him already? That was one of the quickest battles ever. Okay, let me do Frost more. I'm perfect. And let's go and see if this works. Perfect! Whoop! Instantly angry. That can't be good for us whatsoever. Let's pick up a few blocks. Throw it at him, <laughs> and let's go see if this fixes it. Run! This is going to be insane. I'm kind of scared, though, that he's going to have an ultimate power and instantly freeze us as a mutant golem. Let's go and fight him. I'm perfect, and let's even use our frost sword. Perfect. Ah, this is going to be insane. Come on, golems. I need your help. Maybe I can rush over, and if they get attacked, they might be able to help us. Let's go and do this. I'm perfect. Good. I think it's working. Yes! <laughs> Get him, mutant! Get him! Cool! That was so quick! Okay, let me spawn the final one, which is going to be the Naga, and let's go and see if this works. All I need to do is make sure our golem gets hit, and he should be able to be destroyed instantly. Let's go and see if this works. Whoa! He's going straight after our golem. Okay, maybe we can throw some items at him. Yes! 
We've done it! This challenge once again has been super easy. Well, let's head back to our wonderful villager and let's throw in all our items and let's go see what the final one is. I think it's actually the Five Nights at Freddy's. So let's throw these items back, let's go see what we have to do, and I'm really excited. Villager, I'm ready to go ahead and morph into the final stage. Let's go and see what it looks like. Huh? Oh! That's why it's in a baby Five Nights at Freddy! Look how small we are! <laughs> and this is actually kind of scary. This is one of the most haunted monsters we've become in the whole video. But I'm actually ready to do this because being as small as a villager is going to be pretty awesome as a Five Nights at Freddy monster. So let's go ahead, let's take out our items, which is a very unusual cactus sword, as well as every single one of these spawners. And I think I'm ready to spawn them with our golems. Let's go and see if they work. I'm going to spawn the tormented foxy right in the center. And I'm hoping it should look massive compared to us. Hey, I was having a quick look at that. Okay, let's go and do the Starlight Foxy, which I'm guessing these golems aren't going to let live for very long. But they do look pretty awesome. Perfect. Let's also do the Starlight Bonnie right above here. And let's go and see what this one looks like. And cool. They actually look really awesome. But let's go ahead and attack a few ourselves. I'm kind of hoping this should work. Perfect. And good! <laughs> cool! And maybe later on we can even spawn into some of the bigger Five Nights at Freddy's. Let me spawn quite a few. Let's do the Starlight Freddy. And perfect. As well as the Ignited Freddy. And perfect. And then the Starlight Fredbear. Cool! Whoa! The Magma one isn't going to give them a chance. Let's also do the Starlight Puppet. <gasps> Oh, look how scary it looks. Okay, let's get in a few hits ourselves. Perfect! Get him! Cool! <laughs> and the sound is probably going to stay there forever. Let's go and see if our mutant golem does anything by doing the tormented puppet. Cool. Okay. And look how scary he is. He's definitely killed a few villagers in the past. Maybe we can do the tormented Freddy as well as Dog the Dog. Cool! <laughs> let's go and kill this one. And let's go and see if it gives us anything. I'm kind of hoping this should work. Perfect! Let's go and kill these final two, and then our challenge is completely finished. And I'm kind of hoping we should be able to morph back into MC Naveed. Perfect! And good! We've done it! Well, villagers, I think I'm ready now to go ahead and morph back into MC Naveed. I've been too many different monsters in this whole video. Let's go and see if it works. Perfect! We've done it! And I forgot completely we had our mythical outfit still on. Well, guys, it's been so fun today going ahead and fighting so many dangerous monsters. Hopefully, next time, we can go ahead and do it with the villagers' help. So, guys, don't forget to like this video, subscribe down below button is red, and don't forget to go ahead and press the notifications bell. And, guys, I'll see you all very soon. Peace out.